Hi everybody, I'm Steve. Welcome to today's Retro Tech. I have a special setup here. We're just doing an announcement video today and I kind of wanted to brush through some things. Obviously, if you've been following the channel recently, we just finished a five-part series on how to restore and rebuild a um, Sony PVM. This was a Olympus OEV-142, which is a 1353 Sony PVM. So if you haven't had a chance to check that playlist out yet, it's all put together now in a nice playlist. And it's about an hour and 10 minutes total, but it goes down from uh, beginning to end. And you can see how great this thing looks now. Here it is. But I just want to say anybody who has seen that, thank you very much for any input you may have put in those videos um, and questions. I haven't had a time to address all the questions yet, so what I was going to do now is I was going to let you know the first thing that I will be having a follow-up video for that series where I'm going to be answering all kinds of questions. Uh, so if you've left questions on any of those playlists that I haven't gotten to, I will be going back and looking through all those and then doing a Q&A session. I'll also have the monitor and a couple other monitors in the background set up playing on some loops and we'll get some cool footage. But uh, just in case you haven't had a question uh, answered, if you asked a long time ago for some reason I didn't get it, please leave that question in the comments below here and I'll be glad to answer it on the next Q&A. The next Q&A will not be any later than next Saturday. So uh, today is Monday, so you know it's not going to be any more than five days away. I just want to give it some time to let it build up and maybe let some people add some questions before I go ahead and film it. So uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is, as you notice all this cool memorabilia out here and collectibles and stuff, we're actually going to be having a big time retro gaming expo in November here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, that's where I'm at, is in the na north of Nashville, but uh, this is a first chance we're going to have our own booth there at this gaming expo. I'm going to leave a link with all the fun and details in the description of this video, but please check it out. If you're anywhere in the area, please come by and see me and uh, let me know that you've seen Retro Tech at all, if you have. Um, I'm going to be using this as a chance to kind of grow the brand as well as get rid of some collectibles and get some money and hopefully, uh, you know, maybe even sell a couple PVMs, uh, get some people lined up if they're in the area. I've already talked to a couple people that might want to come down and get their stuff serviced, so I'd be more than willing to uh, set up a service schedule and uh, just love to chance to meet anybody. Uh, really uh, let me know if you're going to be there. So. And that's the second thing. It's called the Old Gaming Expo. It's in the Millennium Maxwell Hotel. But again, there's going to be a full link down below. Please check it out when you got some time. Again, I'll have some cool stuff there. I mean, this is probably one, I don't know, tenth of some of the stuff I'll have there. Um, uh, 3DO systems, all kinds of box stuff, cool. Anything from, you know, all the way back to Atari and retro computing up to probably disc based systems. So, um, I just want to make that a mention. I do have a schedule coming up where I'm going to be going through and doing some videos that I've talked about in the past with uh, specifically two things that I've been uh, putting off, forgotten about, that I need to just go ahead and finish up and wrap up. First is the 20L5. I want to finish up a co uh, geometry calibration video on that. I think people have been asking for that quite a bit, so I want to go ahead and get that one done and up for people to use. And then um, the other one is going to be probably a follow-up to safety. And a lot of people asking about safety, which is a good thing to ask about. And I kind of feel like I should go back and maybe readdress some things, um, give you my point of view on safety and working in electronics again, and some new things, um, also some more details on things I didn't really get to in my short safety video I have up right now. But those two videos, as well as the uh, video for uh, the comments will be coming this week. I'm also gonna go ahead and film me going to the salvage place, the surplus place, and picking up that small PVM I bought last week. So we'll film that as kind of a haul video, and we'll bring it back and set it up and see how it looks, uh, and talk about it and get it ready to be serviced. Uh, so that's four videos, and then we'll probably do a haul video too. So that's going to be a busy week. Um, please, if you like this channel and you like the content, make sure you hit the bell notification. I put a lot of videos out there, and sometimes only get about 100, 200 views. And I put so many out, like I've been trying to get at least 15 to 16 videos a month, and I'll try to keep doing that until uh, probably at least the next three months. So. Um, if you like the content, and I mean a lot of this is archived content where it's more like service stuff that 
people will be able to go back to later. Uh, but you know how YouTube algorithms work. They don't really favor the kind of stuff I'm probably doing um, as far as like making stuff and archiving it so people can come back and search it when they need it. Uh, but there's also going to be a lot of relevant content to things like retro gaming, collectibles, and uh, investments. And um, I want to start talking about, too, some things about small business stuff. Uh, I've been a small business owner myself for almost a decade. And I think there's a lot of tips I could give people to understand kind of the um, thought pattern behind, you know, growing something, even as, as small as like, this isn't my main business. This is just a hobby thing that's kind of turned into something that's been a little bit more. I really enjoy it, but I think that I could give some people some tips on whatever passion they may have to uh, continue to jump into that a little bit further and just some good advice on things that maybe I've gone through and I've seen others go through uh, to save you some trouble. But that's enough for today. Just a quick update. Thanks again for all the support. Um, I really appreciate all the subscribers, especially the ones that have been there for the last six months since I started. Uh, producing videos um, and please just continue to help out by sharing and liking and definitely hit the bell notification because I've had some people just say they're not getting the videos I'm like well you gotta hit the bell um, apparently so definitely do that if you like the content thanks again have a wonderful day